Guys, I'm selling my night tech fleeces. After all these years, after all this time, my collection has been growing. I it's also... time to go! Yeah! And if you want to buy some of my collection as there's some left, I'll let you guys know how to later on in this video. So basically, guys, I don't like wearing that out there clothes anymore. I took a look at my wardrobe and basically thought to myself, oh my days, I need a clear out. And I thought my night tech fleece collection was a good place to start. I found myself in the past year or so not really inclined. Wait, is that the word? To wear my colours like the Dutch blue night tech fleece, which I have. For some reason, I have no idea why, but I don't feel comfortable wearing those colours anymore. I'm moving towards more neutral black and whites. Those sorts of colours. Don't get me wrong, I'm still all over my Cineworld shell tracksuit, as that is quite a minimalistic design, as well as there is just a minimal colour on there. Which is why I really like it. Best believe I'm not getting rid of that, especially when I have the matching 95s to go with it. And also, based off of what I've just said, I will be keeping my black, grey and white VCs and Nike Tech Fleece. So not all of them are going. It's not like I don't like Nike Tech Fleeces anymore. I just don't like some of the bright and out there designs that I have. Wait, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. I just don't feel comfortable wearing them anymore. I feel way more comfortable wearing, for example, my Ralph Lauren tracksuit and my muted toned colour Tech Fleeces. And yes, I know I have the grey one up for sale, but that's just because I don't think it suits me as well compared to my grey, black and white one. So guys, the way I saw started actually selling these Nike Tech Fleeces was on Depop. I took loads of pictures. It actually took quite a while. And then I had to upload them all, write descriptions. It was insanely long to do. Look at how many I listed. It's crazy. But after a couple of hours of listing them, I actually got a couple of offers. One which was actually accepted. Here's my live reaction to it. So yeah, guys, I literally just got three offers literally a couple of hours after I listed them. And yeah, well, the hoodie, the camo hoodie, which is in a bit of a weird condition with the, with the dirt on it, it's sold. So surely the Dutch blue and stuff like that is going to sell as well. So then, like a good seller, I packaged the item in a nice shipping bag and took it to an every drop-off store. Bish bash bosh, the first one had sold and about a week later, I got my money for it. A week after I had shipped it. Fast forward nearly a month now and these techs aren't selling. Then I found out about Vinted. I put all of the other techs, which obviously didn't sell, onto my Vinted. Which if you want to buy the remainder of my collection, my account is called Number One Streetwear Plug. You can see my picture and the way you type that name on screen. As of recording, all the tech faces I have are still available. So be quick because I got quite a few messages from people asking to buy my techs and I've had a few offers. I ship with every guys. So once you buy one of my techs on there, you can choose whether to ship it to your house or to pick up at a store. And once I've shipped it, you will then get the tracking number for the item, whatever it is. I don't just sell techs on there. And yeah, like I just said, I can get it delivered to your house or to your nearest every store. And you guys already know that my techs are real. So there's no worry there. I know this probably seems like I'm just trying to make money off you guys. But if you want some techs which are unavailable to buy right now and you trust me and don't sleep on this opportunity. I know plenty of you who want the Dutch blue tech. So I don't really want it sitting in my wardrobe when I know it's better off with one of you guys who is actually going to wear it. Just to mention, if you're unaware, these aren't brand new techs. I've worn them a couple of times, but they are in pristine condition. Some of them I've worn more than others, like the grey one. You'll be able to see all the descriptions and all the pictures on my Vinted. I've listed absolutely all the information you need to see on there. And I mean, if you want to see me review them in hand, then I'll leave a link at the end of this video to my updated Nike Tech Fleece collection video. But I've made a couple of sales already on Vinted, and it's definitely something which I'm going to continue to do for my entire life. I've got so many old clothes that are just in my wardrobe, and I just don't wear them. I really recommend to do this, guys, if you want to free up some space in your wardrobe. There aren't actually any seller fees on Vinted, which is great. You get exactly the amount you set is the amount that you will get. It's actually a really good selling app compared to all of its competitors. I'm definitely going to be only using Vinted from now on. There aren't any hidden fees like some apps just randomly slap a fee on randomly out of nowhere. So that's great. They're really transparent with you. And you can also sell games on there. Like if you go on my profile, guys, you'll see I've got some of my old Pokemon games on there. Here's my collection video where I talk about some of the tech fleeces which are listed on my Vinted. And here's a video where I update you guys absolutely everything you need to know about the Cineworld Night Tech Fleece collaboration. Thank you.